I'm Natalia from IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and in this video I will review IntelliCAD 12.0 release. Initial implementation of data extraction is available in IntelliCAD 12.0. This feature extracts all entity data from the drawing, into a table, or an external file. I will demonstrate how to use it to create a table showing the list of all identical circles, counted and sorted by area. First, save your drawing and call the data extraction command. I will create a report template from scratch, but you can also choose between editing an existing report template and creating a report from an existing report template. Then you name your data extraction and at the next step you can choose a data source like the whole drawing or select particular entities in the current drawing. You can add drawings and folders to the data source and select extraction settings if needed. Then you can select entities to extract data from. And at the next step properties you want to extract. At the report preview, you can sort and order columns, and then select the output for this extraction. I want to insert the report as a table in the drawing. Then I can select a table style, formatting, and as the last step, the insertion point. And now I have a table with the list of all circles from the drawing and the count of each circle. Next, I want to add more entities to the drawing. And update my table by right-clicking it and choosing Data Extraction – Update. Next feature will be especially useful for those who have ever created hatch patterns from scratch. You will feel like you have a new superpower when you use the super hatch command. In the Super Hatch dialog, you can choose between Image, Texture, Block, XREF, or Wipeout for the pattern type. I will review the Texture option. Textures are seamless images created for rendering that are installed in the Textures folder during IntelliCAD installation. These seamless images work particularly well for Super Hatch. Select a texture and then insertion point on the drawing. Scale and pick an internal point for the hatch location. Note that you can use textures and images that support transparency. Simply enable transparency in the Attach Image dialog or in the Properties pane. You can see white frames where repeating images meet. Use the T-Frames command to toggle the display frames of images and wipeouts. A little note, super hatches are not associative like regular hatches. Next feature I want to talk about is the Quick Properties pane. Double-click an entity and the new Quick Properties pane appears with basic information about that entity and you can modify these values. The Quick Properties pane can also display for selection. Turn it on and off for selection using the new toggle at the status bar, Ctrl Shift P hotkeys, or QP mode system variable. If you need to add or remove some properties from this list, you can use the Customize button, and in the Customize user interface dialog, you can choose which properties will be available for each entity type. Also, you can switch to the regular full-size Properties pane using the Properties button. Let's move to more new commands. Copy multiple or copy M command copies selected entities using multiple options. Repeat, divide, measure, and array. Array has the following options. Pick allows you to specify array elements manually. Measure and Divide allows you to specify a box to fill with copies of the selected entities. 
CV hide and CV show commands turn off and on the display of control vertices for all NURBS surfaces and curves. This is especially helpful for splines drawn with the new option for control vertices. For IntelliCAD versions that work with the ACES modeler, the project geometry command projects lines, points, or curves into a surface, solid, or region from a specified projection direction. And the new Auto Trim option toggles automatic trimming when projecting geometry. The next three commands are related to blocks. Gate command allows you to globally change attributes for all instances of a selected block. Rename block command changes the name of a selected block. And the change block command allows you to make changes to a selected block in the block editor under the new name. Several new additions were made for table functionality. The first one is the ability to insert a data extraction using the table command. There is also the table export command that exports a table entity to CSV file format. The Edit Borders button was added to the Table Cell Contextual Ribbon tab. It calls for the new Cell Border Properties dialog where you can manually change and apply border properties like line weight, line type, color, double line border, and its spacing if checked. Also, the Remove Overrides button was added. Next are new user interface additions. Many changes were made for IntelliCAD Explorer, and I will start with the Visual Styles pane. First, I create a new Visual Style using Selected One as a template, make this new Visual Style current, and now I can change different settings like thickness, isolines, silhouette, etc. Let's change face style from real to gooch. This will change the colors to make it look like the colors of conceptual rendering. Several new settings were added to the Explorer layouts pane, together with an existing functionality that is newly available there. Export layout to model, Layer States Manager, Page Setup Manager, Print, and Publish. This is really awesome as you can change the page setup or assign a layer state to multiple selected layouts in the list. Also, an ability to arrange show height columns is available now in the IntelliCAD Explorer. Explorer Layers pane. Two new context menu items were added. New layer VP frozen in all viewports and VP freeze layer. Also, the new column new VP freeze throw and for layouts, the new viewports column was renamed to VP freeze throw. Also, new amazing possibility named selective sectioning was added in IntelliCA 12.0. It's a new layer attribute that controls whether entities on the layer are cut by the section plane command. IntelliCAD 12.0 now supports a legacy user interface highly requested by users, image tile menus. In the Customize User Interface dialog box, select a new image tile menu item from the context menu name it, and drag and drop all necessary commands from the command list. If you want a slide to be associated with the command, enter the SLD file name in Slide Label field. SLD files should be placed in the IntelliCAD installation folder. You can create slide file using the mslide command. Now, copy the alias field value and add the new image menu where you want it to appear. For example, menu file. 
create a new submenu, name it, and in the command name field enter an expression based on the following template. Dollar sign $i equals alias dollar sign $i equals star. Now, when calling for the new menu image item menu, the image dialog appears where you can access all edit commands from the list or by clicking on its slide. Here are a few more quick mentions. Ability to arrange or add and remove columns in the IntelliCAD Explorer. Progress bar is available for the export layout command. Toolbars with drop down lists can be docked vertically in IntelliCAD 12.0. Data links are available in the Explorer Extra window. And the layouts list is available in the right corner of the row of model and layouts tab. Snap settings on status bar now allow multi-select for changing snap settings. We are always improving printing and publishing. When printing or publishing to PDF, you can now specify a PDF preset. And a new polygon option is available for exporting solid hatches in the Advanced PDF Export Options dialog. You can now import page setups from the Page Setup Manager dialog, Print dialog, and Publish dialog, and also the Piece Setup in command. Layer States Manager is added to the Layer State drop down list in the Publish dialog. This layer state feature is cool as it will let you create and apply a layer state right before you print. And more enhancements. A new preview feature is available for offset, trim, and extend that will show the command's result, then allow you to approve or not. Map Import has a new option for specifying the coordinate system. Join option is available for the spline edit command. To select the select text in the command line, use shift plus left right arrows. Geometric center snap is new and available from the entity snaps tab or by shift plus right click. Printer config dir and printer style sheet dir system environment variables were added. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.